Have you ever wondered how industrial machines process real-world signals like temperature, pressure or speed? In automation, sensors generate analog signals, but PLCs work with digital data. So how do they communicate? In this video, we'll break down how analog to digital converters, ADCs, transforms the signals. Let's explore Siemens S7-1200 analog modules. Hit the like button, subscribe to Control Byte YouTube channel and let's start. This list presents key industrial measurements that rely on analog signals. Many physical and chemical parameters such as distance, speed, force, temperature and flow rate are continuously changing values that require precise measurement and processing. Here you can see a sensor measuring the distance to an object and providing both analog and digital outputs. The analog signal, top section, the sensor outputs a variable current, for example 5 mA, 10 mA or 18 mA, based on the object's position. On the right you can see the measured distance. Analog signals allow for precise measurement with a range of values. Digital signal, bottom section. The digital output works in a binary way. It is either on 24 volts or off 0 volts. If the object is within a certain range, the sensor activates the digital output lighting up the indicator. Digital signals are useful for simple object detections. It will show you whether an object is present or not. In this module I will show you how to select proper sensor and analog modules for your PLC system. We will base our discussion on a case study this is a distance sensor which we can apply, for example, for our pallet wrapping machine to measure the height of the pallet that is introduced into the station. How to choose a proper sensor for your application. First step, master the basics of sensor operation and then you can use the support of sales engineers and technical departments of sensor manufacturers like Terk, Sig, IFM, Andres Hauser, Kienz, Baumer and more. Measurement transducers play a crucial role in converting physical quantities such as temperature, force, pressure into electrical signals that can be processed by automation systems. We use different types of transducers including voltage transducers that measure electrical potential current transducers which come in two wire and three wire configurations, resistance transducers, two wire, three wire and four wire commonly used for RTDs, resistance temperature detectors, thermocouples which measure temperature using voltage differences. Now let's take a look at the process of converting an analog signal into a digital value for processing by the PLC. The sensor generates an analog voltage signal in the range of 0 to 10 volts, depending on the measured parameter such as a distance or temperature. The ADC inside the PLC samples this continuous signal and converts it into a discrete digital value. On the left you can see a graph where the red curve represents the continuous analog signal and the blue stepped line represents the digital approximation. This is called quantization. The converted digital value is stored as a 16-bit integer as shown in the example. The binary representation equals the decimal value of 5406, which corresponds to the voltage level. This slide illustrates the signal processing flow in an automation system with sensors and actuators. Sensors measure physical variables such as temperature, pressure, RPMs, fill level, pH and more. 
These values are converted into analog signals using voltage or current transmitters, resistance transducers or thermocouples. The analog input module of the PLC then converts the signal into a digital value using an ADC for processing by the CPU. The PLC CPU processes the digital values and applies control logic to determine the appropriate output response. The process signal is sent to analog output module where a DAC converts the digital data back to an analog signal. This output is used to control actuators such as servo drive proportional valves and frequency converters for process automation. The Siemens S7-1200 PLC supports various analog modules for measuring voltage, current, resistance and temperature. Voltage and current input modules process signals of different type. You can find here, for example, plus minus 10 volts, plus minus 5 volts, plus minus 2.5 volts, or current signals, 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps. Thermocouple modules measure temperature using sensors like type J, K or T thermocouples. RTD modules, resistance temperature detectors, are designed for precise temperature measurement for sensors like PT100 or PT1000. Very important parameter next to signal type for each module is module's resolution. As you can see, there are different resolutions, for example, 12 bits plus sign, 15 bits plus sign, 12 bits without the sign. Resolution determines accuracy of your measurement. We will get to this topic in a minute. In industrial PLCs like the Siemens S7-1200, analog modules use ADCs with resolutions such as 12 bits, 13 bits or 16 bits, determining how accurately an analog voltage or current is converted into a digital value. This slide illustrates how the resolution of an analog-to-digital converter, ADC, affects signal accuracy. On the left graph, you can see lower resolution ADC, where the analog signal black curve is approximated with large steps, a red line. This means fewer discrete values are available, resulting in a worse digital representation and higher quantization error. On the right graph, you can see higher resolution ADC, where the digital representation has smaller steps, closely following the original analog curve. This results in more precise measurements and reduces error in control applications. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to Control Byte YouTube channel, and see you in the next video.